Greetings, my name is Dennis Daniels and this is a quick tutorial on mind maps with FreeMind. Uh, mind maps are cool, I'm not going to go into the the whys and wherefores of what mind maps are supposed to be used for. If you haven't heard of them, go do a Google search and take a look at them. I'm going to show you here uh, what you could do with mind maps or with uh, mind maps in FreeMind specifically, a free tool. Uh, if you're spending money on software, you are a fool. There's very little software out there anymore that's worth purchasing. There's lots of good software worth supporting. Support versus purchase is a big difference. Uh, people who created FreeMind did it out of the goodness of their hearts as opposed to the goodness of their profit. They get the profit from helping people all over the world for free. FreeMind. Let's take a look at it. I've already started it <coughs> and I've already created this um, new node. I'm holding down the Alt key. Let me go ahead and insert Alt plus arrow key to zoom in uh, to zoom in and out. And I'll show you what and I hit the enter key to finish. I'm arrowing over. This is all navigation, so let's um, let's go. <coughs> add a new node in, uh, we'll call this navigation, and what I'm doing is I'm clicking dragging <coughs> uh, arrow keys to move left and right, enter to finish a new node, insert to add a new node, insert key to add a new node, enter to finish a new node. So I could drag that one over here. Let's dr click and drag. You see how it changes? And now I'm going to drag that last part over, delete, and I'm going to control S to save it, mind mapping. I should change that mind mapping with free mind. And you could see how quickly, oh, uh, yes, if I hold down control key, control, CTRL, control key, and arrow up or down to move nodes around. And you call these nodes. I'll call them nodes. Let's see how easy that is. Um, enter key to create to create a new node, new node, new node. See how easy that is? Now I'm arrowing up to move them around. Again, arrow up, <coughs> control key to arrow to move up and down the nodes around. Um, arrow key, F2, arrow key to move edit function from node to node. Alright, see that? I'm arrowing up and down. Well, you don't see it, but you see that the the highlighter is moving around because as soon as I hit it, I can start typing. So let's go up here and I'll start typing. And it immediately overwrites whatever I just started. So um, if the node is highlighted, ah, then you can begin to edit immediately, which is also very nice. F2 to uh, bring up the normal edit mode, and Control S. The home keys and the end keys, they all work just as well. Um, let's move that up to navigation, and insert to add a new node. So let's put that, we'll call this node uh, insert from the beginning, uh, node creation, how about that? We'll put that over there, and we'll put that over here, and see how it moves. Now I just click and drag to move it to where I want it to go. Control S, of course. Um, it saves, it has an auto save feature that works pretty well. And let's show you the, let's zoom back out. And you can see, there it is. Now, 
I've got a couple of export modes, so let's go ahead and export. Uh, let's export it as. Well, let's see if Open Office Writer works. It didn't work before, but we'll give it a shot now. My documents save. Now I've already got Open Office running right here because I'm talking about my mind maps. So let's open my documents. There it is. Details. Mind mapping with free mind. Now let's see if it works. It's not going to work. See how it's different? It's 1.1. I'm using 2. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, it's corrupted, therefore it cannot be opened. Okay, so um, that's fine. We'll just leave a little note here. Uh, <coughs> zoom back in. And I'll, again, I'm using almost entirely the keyboard while I'm doing this. So export, exports, exporting. So I know exporting exporting to o -O open office fails. Um, I know that PNG works. Wait, let's let's go and I'm going to edit this. I'm going to say fails, and then insert Open Office because I'm going to create an outline here <coughs> and works. I know that uh, I know that insert PNG works. I know that JPEG works. Save that. Let's see what else works. File export. I know that HTML works because I use it all the time. Now I, I escaped and it takes me back to the home key, so or back to the home node. Uh, escape takes me back, takes us back to center node. There we go, and escape, boom, control S. Exporting works, HTML, I know it works. Control S. Now, I don't have an SVG viewer. SVG. Mm, going to insert, put a couple question marks there. Control S. File. Export. Let's see what we have. Uh, PDF. Let's see if PDF works. That's PDF. And let's put a test in front of that. Save. And let's add PDF, and we'll find out if it works. Control S, Start D. Uh, where are my documents? What a mess my desk is. There it is, my computer, my documents, and day modified. Okay, and there's my PD. No, that's my mind map. Yeah, I'm opening that up. I didn't want to do that. Let's go back here and test mind mapping with free mind. Let's see what happens. Now that's the second one. Let's go here and see if that's the second one. Control S, PDF. I can close that one. Alt F4, Control S. And the PDF does work. You can see that there. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see the mind map. Um, very cool. So we know that that's work. So uh, I think that should about do it. You've seen how FreeMind uh, can work for you, how it works for me. Um, oh, hello. Look at that. It does work. So mind mapping, the export to OpenOffice does work. So it does work. It just fails, does work, but it complains. So, taking that document there, check this out. I take this document here, control A, control C, I drop it into my outline mode in my PowerPoint or my Impress document, shift tab, enter, hey, and I've just created an entire outline in my um, in my presentation document. So that's pretty darn cool. I am uh doesn't take the whole doesn't take the whole outline mode and I don't know if out or if open office is smart enough to recognize that this is an outline but it does export it as an outline see that how cool is that
that's pretty darn cool. And here's my outline here. Um, let's see if it, if I go home, node creation. Okay, I'm using the tab keys to. <coughs> Um, to select all of these things, so <clears throat> then um, I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I've got a line which I created from my mind map here. Let's zoom this in a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Um, I can move them around again. <clears throat> see how I move them around? I'm holding down the control key, moving it, and export exporting see how I can move all of the document over to anywhere I want that's pretty cool now if I export it control E export to HTML and there's my there's my other document uh, so hey I'm pretty excited about that that's pretty darn cool so go out and get yourself a copy of mine uh, of free mind I got it here it's I'm using point eight point zero um, and you can get it at. Let's see if my zoom mirror is op is uh, functioning. <coughs> Let me turn on my. Oh, I don't have it installed yet. Anyway, um, freemind.sourceforge.net. It's very cool. Go get it. Have fun. And again, I want to thank you for your time. My name is Dennis Daniels, and this has been Mind Maps with Freemind. Take care, and thank you very much. Happy computing.